Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about Autonomous Database Cloud Service. So let's get into the video. Cloud Autonomous Databases. Okay, right. So as mentioned, Autonomous Database is basically the database where with basically the machine learning algorithms and what it does it is the fully management service, which is basically uh, managed by Oracle. So fully automated databases, uh, database service, which make for any organization, it makes it very easy to develop and deploy the applications. So we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the backups. We don't have to worry about the scalability. We don't have to worry about the performance. Everything is going to be there, you know, uh, managed by the machine learning algorithms what what basically our role and our task will be the access control to that databases the data loading in those databases how you are going to load it and yes on the performance side we have got uh, you know uh, some level of uh, control that you can monitor it you can see which sql is uh, having a performance issue and based on that you can uh, you know tune your database uh, you know with the resource manager kind of thing so some control is still there on the performance tuning side but apart from that the administration side is completely taken care of so at the back end it uses the exadata infrastructure for deploying these databases and this is basically going to have the machine learning algorithms and with each version like 21c is right now the latest one and with each uh, they are releasing the new features the new uh, you know uh, the new uh, performance uh, criteria to manage so those things are always uh, you know getting up upgraded and updated by oracle it gives you basically with an autonomous database you will get the highest performance the availability and now you can see that okay the dr option is also there but that is an optional if you select it it will automatically create the dr for you and on the another hardware and will be uh, you know making it uh, optimized against the disaster but again that comes with the cost if you go ahead and provision it it will be like you know the two databases which will be running so all those features are uh, you know available uh, what you are going to do here is uh, it gives you an option for the OLTP and for the data warehouse and for the JSON based database. Now, depending on your requirement, you go ahead and select it that okay, which database uh, option I will be using. Either I'm using it for OLTP transition processing or the data warehouse. So it basically internally design it like, you know, how, how in the warehouse and how in the OLTP the data re, re, the read of the data is either on the columnar basis or on the row basis so that is where it gives you the maximum benefit out of it so the same concept is used here as well and that has been deployed so you have got uh, option for the um, exadata uh, clouded customer in which uh, you are, you are going to deploy the databases uh, autonomous databases in any case whatever option you are selecting so there are three uh, deployment options here the data warehouse the atp and all and apart from that if you see here there are three deployment options shared infrastructure dedicated infrastructure and the cust clouded customer infrastructure okay the last two are the dedicated only but one is dedicated environment on the public cloud and another is the uh, the dedicated infrastructure in the customer data center okay in each of these three you won't be having any kind of backend access no autonomous database you only have an access from the front end you don't have access of the backend at all of course when say you are going with a dedicated infrastructure you will be provisioning the infrastructure and everything and then later the autonomous database will be deployed on it but you won't get the backend access in autonomous databases okay so here if i just go 
to the database and say here autonomous database create it so it will allow me to create uh, upon uh, based on my workload type okay now apex is basically the one in which it is going to use an apex application the easy application building and will be using the backend database so here you can see the shared and the dedicated one these are the workload type based on that you can select it okay now if i just go ahead okay now there is an always free option as well as available so i just have to give the password here the access control i can have it that from where i will be you know uh, controlling the access and the license type i need to select that's it apart from that nothing i have to give it okay if i say go don't select always free i have an option that how many cpu counts i wanted whether i want to go with an auto scaling option uh, how much database i wanted whether i want to go with the storage auto scaling option so these are the things which is going to be there when you provision the autonomous database you just give the cpus and the storage that's it and that will be provision always free means uh, you know oracle gives you uh, an always free option like in your trial account in which whenever you are running the autonomous database okay which has got a limitation of 20 gb of storage and one cpu okay and it will not be auto scaled so one ocpu and 20 gb is always free whenever you run it in your free clouds as well it won't charge you okay a sample database kind of thing you can just go ahead and play around with that just see the features of those and you won't even get uh, the the option for uh, dr as well so that is an free tier which where oracle gives you this okay no it's 20 gb gigabyte see here 0 0.02 tb that is 20 gb right so this is basically uh, you know uh, now, now there are many other features as well in this uh, like uh, how you deal with uh, uh, you know the connectivity options what are the options there the connections which are there uh, that we are going to see in our you know a detailed dedicated autonomous database uh, portion in which we are going to just show it uh, you know how, how, what are the high level features of this so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive or if you want to know about any more concepts discussed in details then we have something really special for you we have our free class on how to transition from oracle dba to cloud including dbcs exacs exacc mysql and whatnot so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash one z zero one zero nine three zero two you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select your event date your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to save the link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in this free class till then keep learning